Welcome back aliens this is Navin Reddy from Telescope Learnings and in this video we'll talk about abstract class. So the concept we are discussing now is abstract class and abstract method. Okay. So uh, let's start this exam let's start the video with an example. So what we'll do is we'll okay let's scroll down. Okay. So what we have here so let's take, take an example of phone. So it is year 2012, just imagine this is year 2012 and in this year there was a person called as Ramesh, okay not Ramesh, maybe Mahesh. So there is a person called as Mahesh and he want to build his own phone, a new type of phone because he is doing B.Tech now or B, uh, engineering and he want to build something new. I mean uh, in, your, in your last year of your project or basically if you are working or if you are if you're a college student or if you are working somewhere. Maybe you want to build something else and then you want to build a new phone. This new phone should have some new features. Example, initially it was, you know, we used to have a, a, a phone. Now we have a smartphone which has multiple features. But Mahesh is not happy with those features. What Mahesh wants, he wants his phone to do something else, some more features. So what he wants from his phone is his phone should be able to call. And of course we know, right, every phone has this feature of calling. So what he did, he created a class. Or create a method called as public void call that's how you create because the behavior of your object is defined by the methods right so this method will define okay or how to call so when i create object of mahesh phone that phone should be able to call right so what we'll do uh, we'll say here we have provided some implementation we'll say this is calling okay so we have done some we have written some statements which will call but let's say we are just making it abstract so Let's say we are not writing the exact code. Now, in order to create object of Mahesh, I can simply say Mahesh phone, right? And then obj equal to new Mahesh phone, and we'll simply call obj dot uh, not obj dot call because Mahesh phone has this feature of calling. If I run this code now, it should work. If I run this as Java application, so there is no problem. It says calling. But let's say Mahesh is not happy with this one feature. He wants some more features. What he want? He want its phone to even dance. Now just imagine. First let's start with move. So phone should automatically move. Now the thing is Mahesh is thinking about, thinking about this concept but he is not able to define it. Okay. So Mahesh fails to define move. Mahesh wants one more feature which is the phone should be able to dance. And one more feature, a uh, phone should able to uh, cook. Okay, so let's say we have these three methods. So phone should be able to cook, dance and move. Mahesh knows how to define calling. But Mahesh don't know that how to define, how to provide the implementation for move, how to how a phone will dance or how, how a phone will cook. But he wants those features. So he cannot define it because he's no, he don't know how to do it. So he is declaring it. And whenever you declare the methods, this methods become abstract. Since you don't know the implementation or you don't want to provide the implementation, you make the methods abstract. Okay, so we can simply make it abstract here. So we have public abstract void move, public abstract void dance and public abstract void cook. Quite simple, right? So you can have a method which is declared not defined. So this is declaration and this is definition as we have seen in the theory. Now the problem is whenever, so this, this method here, these methods are called as abstract method. So these are abstract methods. Now since you have abstract methods here, so the class which has abstract method, the class should be abstract class. And you can see there is no error now here because you can have abstract methods inside abstract class. Now the problem is you cannot instantiate cannot instantiate the object or cannot instantiate the abstract class which simply means you cannot create object of abstract class it's that simple okay so this will not work so in order to achieve this in order to create the object and to call the methods what we need to do is so what Mahesh will do now Mahesh is an in hope so since it is last year of Mahesh his, his he tried to define all this method but he failed. So what he did, he, uh, he created a research paper or an article, he written an article in which he has mentioned that the future phone should have this 
uh, four features. One of them I have defined. Now it's up to you, the future generation, to define all these methods. So next year in the same college, there was a person and his name was uh, Ramesh. So it is Ramesh phone. Now Ramesh want to build the same phone with the same features. So Ramesh wanted some other features but he was not getting what features we need. So he went to his library and in that library he found there, there is already a article written on a phone by Mahesh and Mahesh says every phone should have these four features. One of them is uh, one of them is defined by me. It's up to you to define this. So what Ramesh did, Ramesh says okay I will extend Mahesh phone that means Mahesh has many features why to create my own feature when I can use Mahesh features so he has extended Mahesh, uh, Mahesh phone but the thing is uh, whenever you extend when your class extends the abstract class you have to define all these methods it is compulsory to define all these methods now how to define it so what Ramesh did Ramesh tried to define a method which is move so Mahesh was successful in defining this method move. See by default whenever you extend you have these three methods here. What we are doing we are overriding this move that means this move will not come in this class since we are overriding it. Right and we'll say it is moving. Okay and now so this class Ramesh phone has how many methods any guess? Uh, if you say two methods then the answer is no Ramesh phone has four methods it has call method because we are extending Mahesh phone it has move which is defined here and it also have these two, two extra methods which is abstract methods any class which has abstract methods will be called as abstract since Ramesh failed to define these two classes these two methods we cannot create object of Ramesh phone because this is again abstract so example if I even if I try now if I let's keep it Mahesh because the concept is of Mahesh right if I if I write it uh, Ramesh here still we are getting error because Ramesh is an abstract class so cannot instantiate the type Ramesh phone so this was year 2012 this is year 2013 and now we have year 2014 in which you have one more person and the name is Suresh now Suresh want to do the same thing, he wanted to build a phone, he went to library, he, he saw the article from Ramesh this time, Ramesh says okay I have, uh, have taken the concept of Mahesh in which you should have four methods, I try to define one, that means two methods are defined now, one is call, second is move, now it's up to you to define these two methods. So what Suresh did, he extended Ramesh phone. So that's Ramesh phone and here he defined both these methods public void dance and we'll say s out okay this is that's weird so that's s out and we'll say this is dancing and he also defined one more method which is public void which is cook and we'll say this is this out cooking and now you can see there is no error so what Suresh did he tried to implement all the methods now the advantage is you cannot create object of Ramesh phone because it is abstract right but you can create object of Suresh phone because Suresh phone here is called as so this will be called as concrete class and this Mahesh phone and Ramesh phone they are abstract class in fact uh, this one Rame Mahesh Ramesh phones are abstract class and Suresh phone here is a concrete class okay now using this Mahesh phone we can call all the methods so that's dance and then obj dot what's remaining it's move right so you can see now if you run this code we'll be getting all these features amazing right so that's the advantage of using abstract classes sounds good so this is one of the use of abstract class you can one can def declare the example let's, let's say you have a project manager so project manager says okay I will I will give you the overall structure of the project I will not give you the definition but I will give you 
which methods I need. It is your responsibility to extend my class and implement all the methods. So that's the use of abstract class. Okay. Now we'll see abstract class with another example in the same video. So what I will do now, let me remove all the stuff. We don't require this now. Now let's take an example of a phone class. So let's say we have the first class as iPhone. And in this iPhone class, we have a method which is public void show config. Okay, which prints the configuration of iPhone, which is iPhone has 2 GB RAM. I'm talking about iPhone 6S and it has iOS 9.3 version, right? And then we have one more class, which is class Samsung S4 because I have these two phones with me. So I have public void show config. And this will print what? Uh, so in this also I have 2 GB RAM and I have lollipop. So that's lollipop. Okay. Now, so let's say I have one more method here, which is public void show, but public static void show. Now what this show will do is it will call Okay, which takes a parameter, it takes a parameter, let's say of iPhone, we'll say OBJ. So what's the main intention here? As soon as I call show by creating object of iPhone. So let's say if I say iPhone OBJ equal to new iPhone. Okay, and if I pass OBJ. So what will happen? We are okay. We are getting an error. So that's iPhone. Okay. So what we are doing now? We are we are creating object of iPhone. We are passing this object OBJ, and then this is taken by iPhone. So this is you're, you're passing this value here, and then we can call OBJ dot show config, right? And if I run this code, we can see the configuration of iPhone. So two GB and iOS nine. But let's say I, I also want to print the configuration of Samsung. So what I need, I need one more method, which is public static void show. So the first method is taking the parameter of iPhone. The second method will take the parameter of Samsung, which is Samsung S4. We'll say OBJ. And here we are saying OBJ dot show config. Now, if I create object of S4 also, let's say this is Samsung S4 OBJ equal to not OBJ, let's say OBJ1 equal to new Samsung. And if I pass OBJ1 now, so it will it will it will call this one, right? The Samsung OBJ. The second the second show method. If I run this code, you can see we have 2 GB and Lollipop. The problem is why why we need these two methods? Both the method name is show and both are taking the same, uh, both are taking the object of a phone right of course iPhone is a phone and Samsung is a phone then why to create these two methods what if we can just create one method but the problem is if you create only one method what should be the parameter it should be iPhone or S4 that's the confusion right so to solve this problem what we can do is we can use something called as abstraction here which means create an abstract class and we'll name this class as phone in which you'll be having one method which is public abstract uh, void show config okay so we need to just declare it and both these classes iPhone and uh, Samsung will extend this class which is phone because uh, eventually they are phone right since we even if you say iPhone of Samsung both are phones and here instead of creating the instead of taking the parameter as iPhone just take the parameters phone so we don't require these two methods. So even if you pass object of iPhone, this phone will accept it because uh, you can pass the object of subclass and the reference of superclass. So that's the awesomeness, awesomeness of abstraction. We can pass OBJ, we can pass OBJ1, depending upon what you pass, it will display those things. Since we are passing OBJ1, it says lollipop. If you pass just OBJ, it will show iPhone. Sounds good. So one more thing. Uh, so that's that's the example of abstract class. But there's one more thing. 
it is not compulsory to have the abstract method in abstract class okay so we can have any method we can also define this method here we can say public void show we can define methods here also there's no issue we can have abstract methods we can have normal methods in abstract class sounds good so yeah, that's it the, that's the concept of abstract class and abstract methods so that's it from this video if you have any questions do comment and yeah thanks for watching